Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside new Jeep Grand Cherokee 2023 uh, model that will come actually next year on the market in Europe as a plug-in hybrid in uh, America will come a little bit earlier and also we will have uh, two other version but we will talk about that in other video and I'm inside here I don't have so much time so I just want to go forward and uh, start with the interior uh, because the car doesn't have too much battery for the moment right here and I just want to present you really fast uh, the cockpit and also the multimedia system and then we will go outside the car so first of all uh, I want to show you also the head-up display it comes with a head-up display direct directly on the windshield and this is really good in comparison with other cars that have this plastic here that is not so I can say it's not on my um, on my favorite part but I like the fact that it comes directly on the windscreen and this is a plus for the car now let's go to the cockpit it comes with a new cockpit digital full digital cockpit very good resolution great brightness and I like the way it looks it has a great visibility from the driver point of view everything here it's very well array and you can reach it out super easy and i like the fact that jeep keep those physical button and this is great i mean here on the on the most important things like uh, climatic system we have physical button and this is great also what i notice a lot of usb port usb 2 usb c we have the hdmi hdmi and also 12 volt port here also the car come with free screens i want to point out that before we go forward uh the car come with another screen right here in this area like porsche i can use to have as well but this one it's for the moment not active but i will show you in a future video i will make a, another full review now um let's go forward here we have the screen the multimedia screen what i notice is that it's very responsive i like that very much i think it uses a very very good um hardware processor and ram uh, because it's it's crazy responsive i like that it's a big improvement from what i see in the previous car from jeep so you can see for yourself super responsive so i like that also it has the same uh, navigation system as stellantis group all use also on other models here you have also free version uh, to choose the route and you can see how fast it's loading and this is really good i like that so first of all uh, the navigation system is great here you can go to home screen you have the home screen on the home screen you have also you can customize those things if i'm not wrong at 1537. and also here you have the charging uh, information you can see the power flow while you're driving you have the driving history and also regenerative brake history the schedule here the e-save uh, charge here you have all the information about the charging you can go to off-road here uh, you have to go to wait a second I will try it later also what I like very much is the surrounding cameras that the car come with kind of 360 degrees camera the resolution is fine and also the view it's it's really good um, anyway I want to go really fast through all those things face camera re uh, rear camera you have it here uh, going to the settings here we have also the safety settings the most important safety settings of the car like emergency brake active drive assist um, active lane also the car can read the traffic speed limit uh, and it comes with all these new safety feature parking sensors um, and yeah I will go through detail in other video we don't have too much time right now hybrid uh, date and time bluetooth phone navigation camera all the settings you find it here on the settings page and also you can see that uh, the car come also with suspension you can choose from here display suspension message and jack mode even here you can activate it good here we have the phone on the phone you can see that the car uh, come also with android and apple carplay so you can connect it as well and then going here to the apps here we'll have all the apps uh, so you can access it uh, very simple so ambient color the car come also with a very nice ambient light i will show you a little bit later um, audio settings android here alexa even with alexa it comes so with voice command uh, we have also uh, heated seat and driver ventilated seat i think it comes with ventilated seat if i'm not wrong yes this is great i like that in the summer it's it's super nice also it comes with massage on your in the seat 
yes it comes also with massage uh, and this is really nice I like it it comes with a lot of great features um, I think I show you most everything in terms of I didn't have too much time to uh, to play with it but it's it's impressive I, I really like it I like how responsive it is and I like the way it looks so guys uh, let's go to the cockpit here on the cockpit you can kind of customize it even better I didn't expect that you have those buttons here on the left side where you can customize in many ways you can see also there in the front uh, different off-road views and information something that I find very useful and very nice array I like the way um, they kind of design there in the front and also you can choose from here different views uh, you can see um, the map is loading right now it will need a little bit of time by the way I want to point out something guys this is a pre-production model that mean uh, it need it still need to work on it even though uh, from what I see it's everything work almost perfect so um, they still have a lot of time to improve but uh, that's something to point out before we go forward so anyway i like the way uh, you can customize the things in the front there and also the information that it shows you um, it looks it looks really cool here you can see also some kind of off-road information anyway um, that's it with the multimedia let's go outside and then we will continue in the interior as well so here we are outside sorry for the fast um, review of the multimedia I didn't have too much time and I have to give the key away so that way I do it really fast and I didn't have time to play a little bit with the multimedia but I will do a proper review as soon as I get the car now before I review the exterior I want to go to the price and information about the car actually the price for the moment it's unknown at least here in Europe for the plug-in hybrid version uh, but as soon as I have it I will add it down there in the description uh, also this model come with a 2 liter uh, petrol, petrol engine plug-in hybrid 380 horsepower it's a four-wheel drive system and um, yeah I think those are the most important information the CO2 emission will be around 70 yeah those information can be changed in the future because this is a pre-production model that means they will still improve it in the future uh, 272 horsepower 2654 kilograms 3 liter plus 25.2 uh, kilowatt hour is the consumption 70 grams co2 emission it's in d class here at least here in switzerland um, actually let me turn on the lights guys i want to show you also the car with the lights on uh, even though I have to be fast because the battery is not that uh, powerful and I want to show you the exterior it's super I like the fact that Jeep really changed the game with those new models it's much it looks much more modern it used full LED light on the rear also the the number plate are LED the turning signals the, the tail light um, the car look super modern I like the sharp edges it's a huge car you have so much space in the interior you will see when we go later but I like the fact that we have everywhere everywhere LED lights so this is a great great thing also really interesting the way they added here this light on the side uh, I think it's more for uh, USA than for Europe but it's really interesting also LED light also uh, it looks great and also the turning signal the daylight everything looks just uh, splendid so you can see also from the close-up I like it I think this is the first time when I can say that I really really love the look of a Jeep it's super super modern I love it actually I really like it here in the back LED light on the number plate reverse camera is here also you can see the lights from from close-up uh, also it comes with a uh, reverse light and also the fog lamp it's LED and also the brake light it's up there uh, here we have also on the mirror the turning signals also the camera here for 360 degrees camera yeah this is it this is it this is the front with the lights splendid it looks really really nice now let me turn off the lights also by the way here on the mirror it has it comes with an LED light that illuminate the floor in the nighttime so this is also very useful and also very powerful I noticed that it's incredible powerful and it comes also with an LED light on the handles here 
I want to turn off the lights because um, we have to save some battery. The battery is not that powerful, so then the car will don't have energy for other person. So for this reason, we have to, to stop it. Okay, great. Now let's continue. Um, let's go in the back here. Let's, let's beginning with the upper side. Here on the upper side, we have the radio antenna, glossy plastic. We have these roof rails in uh, gray here. Also, uh, this is the spoiler in glossy plastic. It looks really nice. I like the fact that the upper side of the car is a combination of uh, glossy black with this chrome gray design here on the side. It looks really nice. The brake light. Here is the camera, guys. We have a separate camera for the mirror. I don't know if you see the mirror, but the mirror in the front, I will add it on the screen right now. The mirror in the front there on the upper side, it has a reverse camera as well. And this is the, this is the camera. I will add it on the screen so you can see how it looks. It's really great. This is the reverse camera for the normal reverse camera uh, in case um, you don't know where it is. Now here on the side, you have the Summit. Um, you can see here Grand Cherokee writing four wheel drive. And I like the combination of black glossy here in the back with Jeep. Here we have the LED lights that you see it before. On the down part, we have six parking sensors. And also here are the fog lamps are also LED light. The exhaust pipe, we have two real exhaust pipes on the both side with some chrome on the side, also some gray insertion. And I like very much also this glossy plastic here, the way they insert it. Uh, but overall, very clean design in the back here. Um, yeah, overall it looks really, really cool. Also from the side, if we go on the side, guys, you will see that the, the car look lovely from the side. Look at the front end there lovely powerful um, it looks cool i want to show you something something that i find it really useful is the fact that they keep these plastic parts around the wheels of the car that's a great protection for the paint of the car if you scratch it you just change those parts and then you have a brand new car so you don't have to repaint it so this is great and i like the fact that they fit really nice with the car also they are here on the door if you open the door you open it with them and you have also on the down part, that means you cannot scratch the car. This is, this is really cool. I really like that. The handles, also we have some chrome on the upper side. The great part on the handles is that you can lock the car and unlock it from all four uh, handles, even in the back here. And this is a thing that you don't find it in, in uh, other cars. Down here, some chrome insertion. Down here, we have also, again, some plastic that can be changed in, in case you scratch it. We have on the side here, Grand Cherokee with a little bit of blue around it. That signify the plug-in hybrid. Also in the front, the same protection for the edges of the car and the wheels with the same plastic that goes in the front. I like the way they combine it together. Uh, I think they did a great job to make it look nice, modern and in the same time practical and the front end of the car it's quite aggressive i don't know remember me a little bit of mustang if you look at this area here it looks so so aggressive and so nice they, they add a little bit of of sportiness to to the look and to the design and yeah i i think it looks super super nice going in the front six parking sensors again uh, we have the led lights on the fog lamps some glossy plastic uh, here we have some chrome also glossy plastic everywhere here in this area lovely look here is the um, radar for emergency brake uh, and all that safety features uh, it's located down here because the car come with a lot of safety features the, uh, actually with all the safety features that uh, jeep actually work on uh, these days look at the front look so nice so aggressive this is the the front grille also with some chrome some glossy plastic the front camera jeep logo with the blue it looks really nice it's, i think they should keep it like that with the blue around the edges it looks so so cool the jeep logo look really nice on the white color and the fact that they choose this white color on the car is just fabulous i mean look at the car look at the car in white it's so nice it's so powerful this combination uh white with black on the roof 
and with those chrome wheels oh boy lovely combination they keep the 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 modern trend but also the classic look of a luxurious car this is my opinion uh, also we have some chrome around the, the windows on the upper side glossy plastic and the new trend with some uh, glossy plastic on the down part so very nice look very modern here are the wheels we have here like 21 inch uh, wheels on the car that comes with this plug-in hybrid ventilated brake discs normal brakes here on the right side Look at the, the brake discs, ventilated brake discs again, huge brake discs and also huge uh, brake calipers in the front. So perfect. I think this size is perfect for the, for the size of the car. The size of the rims are just fabulous. But the look looks super nice. It, it also comes with a little bit of, um, yeah, I don't know, sporty look. It, 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 it really stands out. Now here guys you have on the E side you have on the driver side you have the charging port so you can charge the battery from uh, the driver part and here on the left side also on the driver side you have the tank so that's something to keep in mind other than that uh, quite nice I want to show you also the hood with the engine I don't want to bother the other people but I just sorry okay now let's go in the front here i like the fact that it comes with an automatic lift gate so this is great i opened it up before and also it's quite light to open i like that very much this is a good thing here is the engine you can see the engine you can see uh jeep turbo writing there so yeah just to make an idea the way it looks and also i want to close this and i want to go in the back in the trunk uh, you already see the mirror with the camera here. Uh, here you have a huge mirror, great visibility, blind spot technology in the corner. I like the fact that you have also glossy plastic in the interior. On the interior part, you have glossy plastic. It looks so modern and so nice. And even the leg of the mirror, it's with glossy plastic and this chrome design. Lovely, I mean, I like it. And keep in mind, guys, this is not the final product. They still have to improve it in future. And this make me really happy because I think it will be a perfect product, like most of the uh, cars from Jeep. Automatic lift gate uh, in the back here, in the trunk. Also huge, huge entrance. Here on the upper side you have a handle, you have two LED lights, and also you have speakers, by the way, it comes with great sound system. It's a new uh, company that they collaborate with Jeep in terms of sound system, and uh, it's really good. I tested before, and it was super nice. I like the chrome design here at the entrance and I like the fact that you have a flat floor so you can fit in your things directly flat there. Uh, so this is a really, really good thing. Big entrance, you can fit in here without any problem. Huge, huge items like even, I don't know, huge wash machine, mobile parts without any problem. Here on the side, you have the button for the trunk to close it. And then you have also 12 volt port here on the left side, hooks in every corner in um, chrome, and also a speaker, the subwoofer is here. And under the floor, you have um, the spare tire. Finally, people will be happy on my channel because they see a spare tire down here. Uh, and this is also great, great. Also, you have a protection for the trunk here. You can pull it like that and you can also take it out. I will take it out. I will put on the screen right now how it looks with this protection takeout and you can understand a little bit better. Also on the screen right now, I will add how it looks with the seats folding down and you will see that it's super spacious. It's, it's a flat floor. You can even sleep here without any problem and you can carry so many items with, with, with the car because it's incredible, incredible uh, spacious. So from my point of view, the space look, uh, looks just perfect. So now I close the trunk and I want to go in the back. It's someone in the back there, but I wait until he go out and we will go also in the back there. Uh, the brake lights, I see someone press the brake lights. I just want to show you also they are LED lights and they are in this area here and also on the upper side right there. 
Yeah, overall, it's nice. Yeah, let me open the door. Let me talk a little bit about the doors and the quality. The quality and the doors look just like a, like a super premium car, look lovely. You have big windows here from two parts. One is fixed and one is here. Uh, if I'm not wrong, yeah, it's not working, but uh, you have also this privacy protection. I like that. I like the fact that you have soft material here, leather on the upper side. Then you have this wood, kind of woodish insertion here, handle, chrome design, and also you have an ambient light in the interior here. Uh, it's not working right now. The speaker here, and also another speaker right here in this area. And also it will illuminate the, the company right here when you turn on the car. Other than that, what was the most impressive thing on the doors was that Jeep didn't add plastic here. We have this leather with lovely stitches also in this area. We have the buttons for the windows. We have also lock and unlock button here. And even here in this area, you can see you have leather and stitches, brown stitches, great quality. Um, I like that very much. The entrance, uh, relatively big. Also, it comes with this lovely glass roof. It fits quite nice on the car. This is the view on the back here leather seats plenty of space and also you can adjust them from here and the great part is that you have kind of free position to adjust it this is the way you fold it down it's kind of completely folded down the people don't know how to close the trunk but you have to press this button and the trunk will close automatic you can see after a few seconds but if you want to put it back you have to choose you can put it all the way on the back or you can leave it like this and the difference is like 15 centimeters or something like that let me put it all the way on the back because i want to go inside and i want to show you the space also those headrests they will fall down um, yeah all, overall the quality is great you have two iso fix here for child and the quality of those uh those seats this leather it's really good quality let me go inside the car here you have also vent on the side on the b pillar i will close the door this is the yeah actually let's go there because this is kind of my driving position a little bit too much in the back but this is more realistic this is the space in the back for me at least a lot of space i can stretch my legs under the front seat and this is also another uh, good thing and also over my head a lot of space i'm 173 centimeters so to make an idea plenty of space over my head good visibility outside big window in the back big window here lovely lovely visibility so handle up here hooks also you have an LED light here, I will show you later. And you have Alcantara all over the roof. So how good quality can be? It's maximum on the roof in terms of quality. You have two big screens here in the back where you can see different information and you can set it differently uh, in the back. And also in the front, you have three screens. One is there, one is there, and one is there. So how cool is that? And also you have USB-C, USB 2 on both of them uh, and HDM HDMI as well. No, you have USB-C and HDMI, the same here. So how cool is that? I mean, you are, you are good to go with the technology. I mean, they, they, they add everything you can get in a car here. Very good quality behind the seats, some storage space. Um, also down here, the transmission tunnel, it's super small. That means I can stay even in the middle with the legs together. And yeah, more than enough for me, at least the space is great. Stretch my hand completely here stretch my hand completely here and overall here it's a little bit stiffer than on the side but whew, I have plenty of space and I have a lovely view because of this huge screen here uh, here you have the multi uh, the climatic system and the climatic system you have physical buttons here in the back so you can adjust the way you want it super simple and I like it I like physical button the vents feel good quality you have also USB uh, to USB C two USB C to USB 2 how cool is that what car have so many things and you have also 150 volt outlet so you can charge your laptop wow I mean you are you are you have everything here and let let me let me go in the front to show you guys but before you can see from here the dashboard design also very very modern very cool and you can see from this angle yeah let me go in the front i will explain you a little bit better there ah you can see it right now this is the new sound system uh, company that they collaborate with jeep 
This is the entrance, big entrance in the car. In the front, the same, same good quality leather here on the upper side. The wood insertion, the buttons to save the memory on the seats, the handle, the chrome, the ambient light. Now you can see the ambient light under the door there. Also the leather here with the stitches, with the brown stitches. Uh, also here, soft, 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 soft everywhere, leather stitches. How cool is that? I mean, the quality is great. Also you have an LED up here, a lot of space in the door bands. The speaker, the same story as in the front. And also the buttons for the windows, lock the windows, and also the buttons for the mirrors. Summit, it's also an LED light. Here at the entrance on a plate, it's a flat floor, I like that. And also you have normal pedals, electric adjustable seats. So from here you can adjust the seats in every position you want, very simple. And you can see a little bit better those uh, leather seats from this angle. Um, very good quality on the seats. I like them very much and I feel like they can last for longer, for many, many years. When you touch it, you immediately know that this is a high, high quality uh, leather. So overall, um, this is the interior here. It comes also with electronic handbrake here. Uh, here we have the button for the light, electric hybrid and e-save. You can choose directly from here. You just press those buttons and it goes directly in the, um, in the mode. Also the brightness of the screen, LED lights, uh, very good quality also in this area with the brown stitches, uh, wood, chrome, uh, a little bit of brown stitches with leather. Also the, the vent uh, quality is great. And also you have soft material everywhere and leather almost everywhere. They put very good quality almost everywhere. And I like that. Let me go inside the car and close the door. I want to show you the back side one more time. And then here in the middle, you have an armrest in leather. You can open this up, some storage space, open it again, huge storage space. And USB-C, USB 2 there, super useful. And then in the middle, again here, you have soft and good material. So it's like leather, not super soft, but it's leather and good material. Here you have glossy plastic in the middle. You have even here some ambient light with two cup holders. Then you have also the button to hold, auto hold, uh, four wheel lock and low, and then downhill assist. You have also from here you can change, I don't think I have the key with me to show you, but from here you can change the different driving modes and also you have all that uh, rock, sand, snow, auto sport, all the different driving modes. And on the other side you have the air suspension, uh, you can activate it, you can set it up from there here you have a wireless charging for your phone if i'm not wrong yes and you have again two usb c two usb two one auxiliar one hdmi and 12 volt port and uh, on the upper side here we have the climatic system with physical buttons that it's great i love that i tell you before and also the screen without a key if i'm not wrong it's not working we have some led light around the cockpit there as well i still want to try it yes it's not working without the key and here is the starting start stop uh, engine button on the upper side uh, also i want to point out that here on the side you have the speakers they look great on the both sides so they are not on the a pillar they are there on the dashboard here it's a screen that is deactivated right now but keep in mind that you have a separate screen like you have as i said before like you have in um in a porsche down here even here in this area you have good quality material and also those are uh the glow box the glow box relatively big uh, so you can fit in your stuff there without any problem so this is the car guys the steering wheel by the way you can adjust it electrically from behind there you have an electric adjustment in the steering wheel so you can go up down forward backward without any problem so also the quality on the steering wheel leather great quality great stitches the same brown combination with this wood insertion jeep logo uh, the stalks behind the steering wheel you have also the possibility to change the gears manually from those pedals here if they are not for regenerative brake i'm not sure i think they are for changing the uh the gear i'm not sure i didn't ask i was i should ask and here are the controllers for the cockpit here are the controllers for the uh, autopilot and cruise control and all that safety features on the upper side this is the mirror as i said before you can see it also when you play with it from here you change it you can see uh, the camera in the rear and also up here you have the controllers uh, for the 
trunk, you can open the trunk from here. Also, you have assistant SOS button. Also, open and close. Uh, you can open and close this uh, glass roof that it looks awesome up there. I showed you before. And also, if I'm not wrong, you have a glassy support. Oh, yeah, I love that. This glassy support should have all the cars. So, great job, Jeep. I like that. Also, good quality even here on the solar protection. And also, you have two super nice LED lights with a mirror and the microphone and the handle. Two microphones here. Wow, I like it. So, yeah. That was the that was the video guys. Lovely car. Great job Jeep. I think it's a modern car. I think they improve it a lot. I think they make big improvement to the car and yeah, what can I say? That was the video. I will I will make as soon as I get the car I will make a test drive and a proper proper review. I didn't have too much time here because it's so many people, it's complicated. I have to do it fast and I didn't have too much time to to learn the car. So I hope the video was useful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you want to see more of those kind of videos. Thank you very much for watching my video to all of you. And guys, I see you in the next one. Bye.